G'day ladies and gentlemen, how you bloody doing? Not bad, thanks for asking. Before I get stuck into it, there is a brand new thing that I need to tell you about right bloody now. It's called Buttsman Premium, and let me tell you this, it's better than OnlyFans. <laughs> Buttsman Premium is a site that is dedicated to members only. Exclusive content, monthly giveaways, cash giveaways, merch giveaways. There's a members only podcast and Discord. I'm gonna be FaceTiming five people every single week, and let me tell you this, the reason behind Buttsman Premium is so I can fund the brand new podcast studio, more documentaries, better content, filming every single show so I can bring you the best from it. And ladies and gentlemen, I wanna welcome you over to the Buttsman Premium community. Come on over, the link's below. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's an inherently patriarchal system designed to keep women as slaves in their own home. Never allowing them to blossom into the real powerful beings that they were designed to be by God. Wow, that sounds terribly boring. G'day you good motherfuckers, the Buttsman here. I hope you're doing well. And let me tell you this, this video is going to piss some people off. Hooray. Right now we live in a world full of change. Some good like modern medicine and technology and transport is just miles ahead of what it used to be back in the Dizay. But some change is not so good. Like modern feminism. It's fucking terrible. Sure, war's not great either. Famine probably sucks. But feminism is definitely the worst. Now. Just to put this out there, as I do for any of these videos, men and women should be treated absolutely equally. You're not better than anyone else just because of your gender. Shut the fuck up. But modern feminism doesn't push for that. Modern feminism is just basically anti-men. Many of the amazing achievements that women do on a daily basis can be traced back to the amazing efforts of feminists in the past. But we're not talking about this here. We're talking about modern feminism. The ones that are freaking out about people opening their legs too far. Hang on, I've got one for you. Opening their legs too far on a fucking train. Proud man spread his shirts, go and get them. It's great merch. My website. Thank you, bye. Today we're talking about the super painful ones, the ones that would buy a feminist baby and read it to their kids. Sounds like a great way to ruin your child's life. I'm talking about the ladies that think fat is beautiful and they're all amazing and wonderful and super powerful and all that bullshit. The ones that would love this particular superhero. A new comic book hero has menstrual superpowers and swings from their armpit hairs. Huh? Menstrual superpowers? What, flood a whole village with your terrifying clots? Ooh. And what an awful evolution from Spider-Man's fucking jizz that he shoots out of his wrists. Now you're just flipping around with your fucking dirty fucking stinking underarm hair. You grubs. Now this isn't the first feminist superhero. There are heaps. And I've written them down because I don't know any of them. There's Kara Danvers or Kara Zorel. That's Superman's cousin. Nice. Superman can fly at the speed of fucking everything. He's got laser eyes and super strength. Did you know Superman once flew around the Earth in reverse and stopped time and then reversed it? Yeah. Carol can do some amazing things too. She can boil pasta on the stove without it overflowing. Incredible. There's the uh, the Black Widow. It's now called the BLM Widow. She has incredible superheroes like uh, remaining in the Avengers even though she's completely ob obsolete and has never done anything good and is only in it because she's hot. Oh, yeah, Harley Quinn. She's another one. She's another great superhero. She has inspired so many young women to dress like whores on Halloween. Well done. And who can forget Wonder Woman? That actually, I won't talk shit about her because that movie was good. I think everyone should have their own superheroes, whether it's your mum or your dad or your grandma or whatever or your best friend. They should all be able to be your superheroes. But swinging through the trees or through the buildings with your underarm hairs and spraying period blood across the streets is definitely not a fucking superhero. That's just fucking weird. If you were spraying period blood at me, you don't need a key to the city. You need a tampon. But I'll give you this. Having superpowers and raging when you're on your period is quite funny. So, well done. What sucks about this whole story and removes all the hilarity from it is it's written by Amelia Clark. Game of Thrones star Amelia Clark is set to debut a new comic book starring a single mother who gains superpowers through her menstrual cycle. I love Amelia Clark, the mother of dragons, all that Dakaras and blow people up shit. Amazing. Now, she's made a superhero that spreads her legs and doesn't say Dakaras to burn people. She goes, vagitis, and sprays blood everywhere. Gross. M.O.M. 
Mother of Madness follows Maya, a busy single mother who can swing like Spider-Man from her armpit hair and gain superhuman strength when she's angry. Well, if she's like any mother that I know when they get angry, her super strength will be superseded by her ability to throw shoes at people when they're super angry. I'm not suggesting that's what my mum did. Sorry, mum. She did. Maya, Mum of Madness, deals with it all. The bloating, the hair growth, the mood swings. What a great fucking thing to read for young people. Just awesome. The acne, all of it. Clark explained to Variety, but she discovers her powers manifest from her period. Yeah, great. What an amazing character. Batman, you know, he's a billionaire. He's got all these amazing engineering skills. He's got all this fucking karate shit and taekwondo shit and jiu-jitsu shit. And he's a boxer. He's fucking amazing. This bitch throws her bloody tampons at criminals. Come here, motherfucker! It just seems like a cheap attempt to try and get some feminist icon into the superhero, like, world. It was the same when the Ghostbusters movie came out, the feminist version, which was basically smegma under the foreskin of society. It was just terrible. Remove that shit immediately. How's that for a visual for you? My point being, it just sucked. It wasn't needed. It was squeezed in and no one wanted it. According to Variety, Maya, Mum of Madness, uses her inflated boobs to thwart a human trafficking ring in one edition of the upcoming three-part comic mini-series. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe this is something we all need to read. She's so ashamed of her powers at the start. It's mental. Even today, if your tampon falls out of your bag, it's embarrassing. Why, Clark said. It would be, you know, it'd be more embarrassing if it fell out of your ass and an old lady slipped on it. That would be embarrassing. In doing my research, I found that 16% of comic book creators are female. According to a 2019 study, and only 30% of comic book characters are women, Clark added. On the other hand, roughly half of all the comic book buyers are female. Something didn't write with me and I decided to write my own. Now, I think that's great. I think there should be more women in all fields and let the fucking population decide what is good. People will vote with their money and we'll see. We'll see what fucking happens. Also, at the end of this article, it says that it's actually a tongue-in-cheek comedy. I wish they fucking started with that because no one reads the whole article. They wait for me to read it. <laughs> Why wouldn't they put that at the start so everyone didn't look at this and go, fucking what? But it also, it upset me a bit because I was actually hoping that this wouldn't be a comedy. I was hoping this would be a dark, epic comic book, like Wolverine, the last movie, that's all like sort of dark and moody and violent and dangerous and, you know, gritty. I was hoping that in the fourth edition, that would come out after everyone was really into it and they wanted to know what happened, that uh, Mum of Madness would go around with bloody tampons and decapitate cis white men. Yeah, that would be a great, great book. I think that's a lot of feminist wet dream, to be honest. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us for the video. Uh, leave it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Come and see me live. And I want to know this. I want to know in the comment section below, what do you think would be the best feminist superpower? Best answer wins a merch pack. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Mid extincts. Keep it moist. Toodle over. Bye. Hit it, boys. G'day, you good motherfuckers. How are you?